here on England, and then Castile gets pulled in. Then the Ottomans declaring on the Commonwealth, but I suppose we could always just decline the call to arms. Um, hmm. Well, let's just go for it. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we want to take definitely one of the colonies. It's a much better CB. I guess we'll just pick St. John. Yeah, it looks like Castile does not get to join. Yep, because we're not attacking England directly. We're essentially attacking... Uh, well, we are not even essentially. We are attacking a subject of England. Oh, uh, yeah. How's our Diplo rep, by the way? One see hours. Can we integrate? No, we cannot integrate Norway right now. Um... Well, they only have such a tiny army. Poor England. I suppose we've gutted them pretty well at this point, which is good. Let's see what they're going to go do with their ships. Um, I might actually want to get these guys into a different port. Where are they going? I'm going to come back on those guys, I think. Do they have a significant army up here? They sure don't. Are they 50%? So we'll go ahead and kill them. Uh, that colony is now self-sustaining. We don't need to protect it anymore. Oh, we got our next merchant. So... Where do we want to put this merchant? So we only have 3% power in Champagne. It doesn't have a ton of money in it anyway. Um, that's actually a lot going to Sevilla. We don't want that going to Sevilla. We definitely want all of that. That's 11.68 ducats. We really want that coming our way. Yeah seems like it should be the correct call. Alright, we killed that army here. Um, go ahead and start taking all that stuff. We haven't won that siege quite yet. We maybe should have actually pulled the siege and killed those guys. Not sure. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it's a nice another nice easy war for us. Should be. Um except that that's about to happen. That's awkward. And I don't think that we can get troops there in time. Unfortunately, we're going to get stack wiped there. Actually, I wonder if we could. Um, looks like we will. I don't know if we're going to. Actually, we might end up winning that. Which is somewhat surprising because we don't have a general. I guess we do have the terrain advantage and they crossed. And we might have better mill tech than them. Yeah, they're at 15. We're also at 15, but our military is probably better in terms of discipline and whatnot. Uh, will these guys peace out? I'm sure they won't. I'm sure that they consider themselves as making gains. Let's get a merc to start taking these back and let's just go kill those rebels before they become more annoying. Where 
guys their fleet. Yeah, we're not going to be able to transport our guys. Uh, so we took significantly more casualties, but at least we won, I suppose. Um, do we, I don't know if... I don't think we should chase them. Yeah, I don't think it's worth chasing them. Maybe it was. Oh, I actually have really low morale still. And they're not going to get a morale tick. So that could be very much worth the fight in that case. I thought they were going to retreat way further than they did. Let's just try to catch that army from Kiche. We have a bunch of random small armies up here. Uh, did Castile just enter a coalition against us? They did. Of course they did. Do we have any open alliance slots? We should now that... Uh, we're still at 4 of 4. Um, are they going to retreat further than... Yeah, I think so. Don't know exactly where they're going to be retreating to, but further than one province away, it seems. Uh, is Kiche ready to surrender? Minus 15. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to fight Castile quite soon as well. That's for sure. So if we want to be super rich, at least. we occupy everything as quickly as possible um, actually you know what we need to leave one guy there maintaining the siege and we need to kill this stack I think So that's all occupied. Um, I think we want to stay in this area, though. Where the heck are these guys going? Actually, you know what? How many do we need here? Let's just send that army there. This army can chase those guys around. Yep. Let's see if we can catch them somewhere. Going to hole. Looks like we're going to catch them. Hopefully. How are things going over here? Maybe we can catch those guys. Looks like it. Did we catch England? Yes, we did. That will hopefully be a stack wipe. Yes, it was. Very good. Perfect, in fact. Uh, so this should... Take it back, doesn't really matter. Um, does Kiche want out now? They sure don't. Minus seven still. So we need to finish wiping this army. Things up here are looking fine. 
Uh, especially once we actually take our war goal, that should help significantly. And Castile is being extremely annoying. They may be who we fight next, although we may need heavy ships to beat them. They're also allied to Portugal, I think. Austria, Portugal, and Mosi. Austria is actually pretty big. So we would probably want to declare just on Portugal to get Castile in and then um, take Castile's colonies that way. Um, I kind of want to come down, start taking that, but we're actually, yeah, we can't get there. We don't want our transports to come out. gonna catch these guys are we maybe they have no general and we have a three maneuver general so we should be moving faster than them so eventually we should be able to get them Here looks like it could be. So that should get them out of the war. And let's go ahead and yep. Take you out. Now we can take all of that. Um See, maybe we just declare on these guys now. Lapinek is in the coalition against us. I would call Castile in. That's kind of funny. Zapotec is them, and Lapinek is them. So we could actually get them out of the coalition, but we don't have a CB on them. We don't have a CB on them. Uh, those guys were our dudes. Oh, we could get these guys in and those guys in via Holy War on them. Um, alternatively, we could declare on Chichimanga or however you say these guys. Mill 12, so that should be easily winnable. So, sure. Huh. I guess we just go ahead and siege that. Uh, we got these 50%, so they're going to die. We got that. I do want to get a high war score against the British um, just so that we can take as much as possible from them is this army sitting in here no we didn't actually start transporting it right or have they been have they been sitting in there eating attrition no they're over here right yeah those are our light ships and two light ships and transports. We're not going to be able to cross unless they're dumb, which a lot of the times the AI will be dumb and let you cross. Uh, why are we not sieging this? Wait, they're actually not in the war? Because they became a vassal of the Aztecs, and the Aztecs are now part of this war. But they're not. That's interesting. Um, Zapotec. So these guys are not. Well, they're a vassal of the Aztecs now.
Pizza is a Potec. Oh, we'll just go ahead and get the Aztecs out of here. I don't think that we take this seven years ahead of time. I'm pretty sure I would much rather develop... Um, 15, 16 for 56. Just develop that a few more times. Should be fine. Commonwealth, yeah. Uh, They're actually attacking the Ottomans. Um, are the Ottomans at war with anybody? Commonwealth and Hungary, because Hungary is a uh, junior partner. I suppose we should help them. We're going to need to piece out England pretty quickly in that case. Uh, I think... That way we can get all of our troops over to help fight the autos. So they're only at four enthusiasm. So we should be able to piece them out relatively quickly in that case. Not too much longer at least. But yeah, they're not gonna let us cross, I don't think. Which is fine. We don't necessarily need to. Maybe we can get these guys up there. It's kind of crazy that the Commonwealth is now declaring on the autos. I guess they have a lot of faith in us, because I don't know that the Commonwealth can beat them alone. Maybe they can. Moose Factory? I never realized that that was the name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. We got rid of an heir to get an even worse heir. Holy cow. We're going to have to get rid of this guy, too. He's just strictly worse than our last heir. That's very disappointing to say the least. Um, do we want to seize this colony? I don't think we do. We don't have enough colonists. We'd start paying way too much money. Um, all right, so who are we at war with here? Itza, where are they? We need to piece them out. They're right there. So it's Itza, Zapotec, and then these guys, and we should be able to piece out the Aztec. Um, well, if we take that, then we get their vassals, which we don't want so I think we just give them a white piece and by white piece I mean we take their money wait did we just piece out the whole war oh my gosh we pieced out the whole war instead of just piecing out the Aztecs GG that was not what we meant to do not at all what we meant to do. Oh, Castile's calling for a crusade against the Ottomans. I like that. Maybe other people will declare on them in that case. That'd be sick. So, yeah, we goofed really badly there. I swear that we just pieced out with only the... Ugh, at least it's a short piece, right? Seven years. Man... If Castile gets this stuff, I'm going to be annoyed now. Um, who do we have truces with over here? We don't have a truce on the mixed tech. We don't have a CB on the mixed tech, though. 
Uh, yeah, let's let's see what England will give us. Um, we're not going to want to give us anything over here, right? Because we don't occupy the fort. All right, so we're not going to be able to take that. Can we just take like all of their colonies over here? Just to get them out of get them out of North America. It's our North America, England. Get out of here, man. Uh, we can't take Calais because we don't have a fort. Or we don't have that fort occupied. So let's see what else we want to take over here. Definitely Gloucester, Gloucester, however you say it. Um, it's iron three. Copper is four point five. So I think we want to aim for Gloucester and Cornwall. I don't know if we'll have the war score to take both. Doesn't look like we will. Um, unless we want, I don't really want to not be connected. Yeah, we're not going to take anything over there because we don't have a we don't own the fort over there. Um, what's that look like? Seven, but then we're not. Uh, that's so awkward against rebels. It's super awkward against rebels. You know what? Maybe we just... 39, 47, it's five. We're not gonna be able to take another province off of them. I think I'm fine with that. How does the aggressive expansion look? No, I don't care about that coalition. So we don't get as much of mainland England as I would necessarily like, but we get all of their holdings except the 13 colonies in the new world, which should give Vinland their merchant will will get the merchant from them um plus we're not gonna have to core this stuff which saves us admin unless that's in a different colonial region no it's not so that's good all right and then we can just focus on the war against the ottomans which it's gonna be a relatively close war um, I should look at their army. Actually, they're only 14 mil tech. Kamal's 15. We're 16. So that helps a bunch. Or are we 15 almost 16? Or 15 almost 16? Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and sign that. I mean, we could sit on our war goal. <sighs> but we need to get our troops over and help the Commonwealth. So, go ahead and just transport them into Gdansk, Gdansk, however you pronounce it. We still never helped. Oh, that's awkward. We should go help Norway. Should definitely go help Norway out. Um... Just set everybody to do whatever you want for now. So we should get, I think we should get another merchant from Vinland, unless we already had. When the month ticks, we may. Uh, we definitely need to get our ships back protecting in the English Channel. Can't upgrade these, can we? No, and nope, okay, that's good. England's no longer a valid rival for us. We're probably paying out the wazoo for colonies right now. 70 ducats a month for colonies? Wow. At least... Two, three, four. Oh, man. I actually don't know if we can do that. That's an absurd amount of money on colonies. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think we can do that. Oh, these two are so close to being done. Uh they're all so close to being done though. I mean I guess minus sixty six a year. 105 a year, so that's two years, three years, three years. I don't know, I guess we could take the debt. Might be worth it in the long run, although then we have to protect all of these two. So we need to send troops to stand on all of them. Uh, I really want them to finish, though. So I think we'll go ahead and just suck it up. Even though that's an absurd amount of ducats to be paying every single month. Completely absurd amount. All right, so these three guys are going there, there, and there. I'll actually come there first and then split. So we need two guys, one, two, three. You can guard that colony, you can guard that colony, and you can chill there for now. And yep. Oof. Losing so much money. I mean, I suppose we could just grow them more slowly. And then we wouldn't be taking out a bunch of loans for it, which that might be worth it. Just gonna take them forever to finish. Oh yeah, there's our other merchants. So we have a little bit coming up from Cuba now into the Chesapeake, into the Gulf. The Gulf is getting pushed into two places that we want it to be. Um, I think we want to pull more out of Mexico. Alright, one army's in Gdansk, Gdansk, however you say it. That's a huge Ottoman army. Um, so we need to give these guys probably our best leader, which I think is this guy. Four shock, five fighter. And we'll come down here and engage the Ottomans there. All right, so hopefully this war goes well for the Commonwealth. It's awkward, we're not gonna be able to get guys there in time. I don't think anyway. Um, we can declare on the mix tech if we ever get a claim fabricated. Man, natives everywhere trying to fight us. So far, the Commonwealth has lost two fights, two of two fights. 10% morale seems good for a uh, war against the Ottomans. Yeah, I should check their army quality. Um, so we have way more morale. We have slightly less discipline, um, way more tradition, less professionalism, so um, yeah, we don't need the morale. I think we just want to keep that manpower recovery speed. Should be fine. Well, that sets back 
our colonies for a little while. Zapotec. You're in the coalition against us. Mextec, we don't have a CB on you. Or we also have a truce on them. Uh, so pretty much there's nobody in Mexico that we can fight right now. It seems. So just get that that leader out of there. Let's get this leader out of there. Um, we helped Norway with those dudes, perhaps. I don't think it's worth. Well, yeah, it's probably worth transporting this army. We can get them in on the Ottomans eventually as well. Um, I imagine we're mostly just going to be protecting Commonwealth sieges of Ottoman territory. We'll see, though. Conquer Osul. Well, we also have to conquer that. Yeah, well, we're probably not going to be doing that. Actually, I have seven heavy ships. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't actually know that, like, we might actually have to help the Commonwealth a lot more than I initially anticipated. I suppose we'll see. Let's send some of our diplomats to outraged countries for now. That's a lot of Ottomans over here. Or to just put a colony right next to us? Really? Really, England? <laughs> Holy cow. Amazing. Just colonizing com just on top of us. You know, it's cool, right? 41k. So we can't necessarily gauge any of these armies not without commonwealth help at least yeah that's too many dudes actually have more guys than us now hopefully the commonwealth didn't drag us into a losing war not that i don't think we would lose anything oh yeah how are our interactions 91. Uh, we definitely want to do that. That's 95. That's also 91. Okay. Uh, what is the war goal anyway? East side. This. See if they would join us. It's a really nice general. They have six shock, three fire. Um, definitely gonna take our next diplo tech. Get nice global settler increase. Nice and ten navy tradition for free. Once I put our navy tradition at. Um, 51, not too bad. Wonder, do we just march for Constantinople? Do we just start sieging some random stuff down maybe? I want to be a bit more useful in the war than we're being right now. It's a forest, fort, woods, fort, woods, fort, okay. Um, we have the, let's see, we definitely don't need this fort in the grasslands. That one's probably fine. How much are we losing? Only 1%. Could be a lot worse. Um, did we get, those guys are going there. We need to take that back and bring more troops 
to the front to help fight. We could potentially recruit 10k more to help out. Uh, we'll go ahead and give that to Commonwealth. I'm trying to figure out where our army would be most useful. Once we get more troops, we could actually start fighting some of these stacks. Make them over here and fight those guys. Um, that's just going to take forever. It takes so long to march through Scandinavia. Sometimes, most of the time. Really need to fight Portugal for the Caribbean. It's a lot of money we're losing. Actually, is it going to... Yeah, it's going to Sevilla. So yeah, we're not getting anything from that, which is fortunate. Wow. They just annihilated that Ottoman army. Come on, Commonwealth. Come over here, and then we can join forces, and then we can kill these dudes that are about to take your fort. It'll be awesome. Alright, they're coming with us. Unfortunately, the Ottomans took the fort, but... Uh, Norway gains Liberty Desire, which is probably at zero. So, sure, I'll take the manpower. All right, well, that was a massacre, which is good. That's what we want. Nice, five prestige and professionalism. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for good events and not junk like lose six years worth of manpower. We like to avoid those. You know, uh, let's micro our colonies a little bit so that the, the, they'll get finished a little bit quicker. Um, so I think, no, that doesn't mean, let's see, 75, so we'll go to 90 influence, but we're also gonna be granting monopoly charters soon. So I don't think that we'll, Oh, that 10k stack is actually holding out like crazy against the autos. Beautiful. I'm gonna come back and take this nonsense back from them. Defend Isni Novgorod. Um, I still don't think that we take the admin tech this early. I think we'll go ahead and develop a little bit more. That was probably too much development on second thought since I didn't actually check to micro it. Or check to um, min-max it, I should say. But it's all right. So when do these truces end? 96, still five more years. Man, I screwed up piecing that out incorrectly. Uh, when are these truces up? The Sioux 91, that's actually in just like super soon. So we could probably start conquering a bunch more of these guys very, very soon. Fox is 97. Um, you know what, I think we're actually gonna, I know we just sailed this army here, but I think we're gonna sail them back. No, yeah, eh. I don't know, autos are already at medium enthusiasm and so far they've been getting crushed. So hopefully we don't need that. Alternatively, you know, it actually makes more sense. Um, we'll drop these guys back off and then we will take this 15K stack back up to North America. Hmm. 
makes more sense, I do believe. I'll get these guys over here. Who's Ryzan? They're not odd with anybody. We have no CB on them, but maybe Nizhny Novgorod will fabricate for us. Should probably be setting all of this as of interest so that they will do so. Muscovy also has no allies. So I'll have six more years on that truce though. Um, yeah, we'll get our transports over here and bring them up north. Check my texts real quick. Alrighty. So hopefully we can finish up this war and then I might eat lunch after. We'll just see. I also have to go get some groceries at some point today. Oh, they're taking that back for us. Um, I don't know, maybe we just siege up the Pontic Steppe. I feel like we'd be wasting a lot of time chasing this army around with our 40k stack when we could be actually sieging down their empire, giving them war exhaustion, etc, etc. We'll have this smaller army chase down the 13k stack. A lot of manpower though. So we're going to have to be a bit more careful with the attrition than we have been. Um, we'll give them the Monopoly Charters, get all that Diplo. Um, could a minister? Oh, maybe we give them a province. Uh, we could give them cows, perhaps. That's two. Cows are 2.5. Give them that province. That'll only give them 69%. How valuable is that? That's also two. So if we give them both of those. Actually, no, we should give them provinces over here. Actually, furs are worth a lot. We can give them some of this stuff, though. Uh, we can't. It's a territory. We need to make states. Um, definitely going to make that a state. Probably want to make Finland a state, which is here. That should be fine. Now we can give them some stuff. 69%, uh, 69.9. There, now we can take 100. Uh, that to be over 70? Be 71.5. I don't think we want to give them Stockholm. Um, could give them that. Oh, still just 100. Maybe it has to be over 80%, which I don't feel like giving them that much. I don't remember the exact break point for it. Um, now we need to make another state. Probably not. We're at 20 of 21. Mecklenburg only has 20, so. Also, do we have any edicts popped? We don't. It's fine. I don't think we need any right now. Uh, our fleet is somewhere, maybe. Yeah, they're close, so that's good. Uh, I, 
actually don't think that we wanted to fight that for the Ottomans, but it is what it is. We're also... When do they arrive? 22nd, October 1st. But they're way too far behind. Let's see, is our ruler any good? Not great. Uh, we have way more than 40 tradition, right? Ooh, six fire, four shock. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's how much attrition? 1.5%, but we're at 14. Yeah, it should be all right. We could take Defender of the Faith. We don't need the morale, though. I'd rather use the money to build another manufacturing in the English Channel. York. 0.41 seems like the best by a lot. Well, other ones are 0.4, so. Oh, we have no leader here, and we can't get out. That's actually really bad. We only have a couple mercenary stacks there as well. Shouldn't be a stack white, but I imagine that that's going to be a loss. When can we retreat? Wow. He died super young. Oh, now we're going to be stuck with this dude. Two more days. Yeah, we're definitely pulling out of there. That was a massacre of us. Oh, English. We forgot to check. Actually, this is going to be in the new provinces, right? There's no way. Oh, that's really bad. How big are they going to be? English. 41k. Uh, 194 mil points. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Well, we're going to be, we're going to have to send troops back to England for now. We'll have to come fight the autos again in a minute. Commonwealth is going to be on their own for now because we don't want them getting separatism. Definitely don't want them getting separatism. See are any of our colonies getting close? One, two, three, four, five. Ouch, only 13 per year. There's the English rebels. We definitely should have turned on that fort. Alone, I guess, why not? We don't have to pay it back, necessarily. Hopefully the Commonwealth recruits a bunch more troops. See, these are the provinces that we don't want having separatism anymore. Oh, this one we could go ahead and convert. Oh, might as well do that. Pretty sure that's one we need for our achievement. Let's see, 94. Yeah, they're growing so slowly without us paying for the colonies. Oh, they've actually been dying. I wasn't paying attention to that. All right, we're just gonna have to take loans then. Our other general just died too. Very awkward. Uh, I don't think that we wanna boost stability. Uh, where did our fleet go? Are they almost back yet? All right, they are there. I guess we can have them just meet them there. These 
These guys should be fine to chill. We, we won't need them to kill the rebels. Treason against Denmark. Sure. 